So, there we go. You've just seen what it is that I've got. I thought to myself, why not? Uh, the local the local shop, the Active Scale, they didn't have any in stock and they weren't able to get any for about three months. So I went to Model Sport website and they had them a bit cheaper, good stock, so I got one. So we've now got, I sold that HSP load of crap from Nitro Tech and um, managed to get myself one of these. A proper real HPI um, trophy truck. 4.6 the new version the v2 I haven't even started it up yet um, I've got a driller hole around here somewhere for the aerial I've done that yet I haven't even started it up yet still got all the little things on it I've put the batteries in it I've got the transmitter and um, it's all ready to rock and roll I'm not going to be able to do the running in process now because it's too late um, I got it this morning but I've been playing with it indoors but um, I've been setting the suspension up and things because when they come they're always really low and saggy like down there somewhere so you get a load of adjustment blocks with it so I've been putting them on I've put it up to where I want it played around with it so the Savage has now got a friend except this is going to be what you're going to be seeing all summer you're going to be seeing this all summer my brother-in-law wants to get one he's saving up um, he's going to have a little go of mine, see what it's like, and decide whether he wants to get one of these or he wants to get a buggy. Or he might even go for a Tamiya or something. I might even be able to persuade him to go for a Tamiya. Well, if I say persuade, it'd be bad, but maybe he'll go for a different brand. I'd rather him go for HPI because I don't want him to be disappointed. But if he goes for a different brand, it's not the end of the world. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up out here to make sure it all starts up properly. And all goes all right, and then tomorrow, hopefully, I'll go down to a local car park and break it in, uh, do a few laps and things, and uh, yeah, sweet. I'm pretty excited to say the truth. It's the first proper HPI that I've bought since about 2006. No, 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 no. 2013, I bought a Mavic, didn't I? The uh, drift electric drift car. Oh, and then I had a Flux, didn't I? A Savage Flux. When was that? About 2014. Okay, I'll take that back. 2014 was the last time I bought a HPI. But, um, Nitro-wise, it's been about, since 2006 was the last time I bought a Nitro HPI. Um, I've been hearing there's a bit of trouble. There we go. That's the size Savage did. Right, there we go. I, I only done a short little run just to make sure it works. It's not going to do any harm. I know you're supposed to. I don't care. Anyway, so, are there going to be people that go, now you started it, you meant to let it run for the whole tank. It doesn't matter. It's not going to make any difference. It's only a short run. But one thing I've already noticed that is rubbish, and I don't know what they're thinking of. I mean, this, this I'm not complaining. Well, I am, kind of. I mean, it, it lets everything down. This air filter is ridiculous. It falls apart. I mean... <laughs> When I unpacked it and I thought, what on earth have they done here? Um, so you kind of have to slot that on there. They give you these cable ties to slot that on there with. Fair enough. But that just... I kept trying to put that back on. It was only ticking over as well. I kept trying to slot that back on there. And uh, walk away, come back, and it would be out there vibrating around again. So, if anyone's got one of these, um, was yours the same? Uh, maybe I'm not clipping it on properly, I don't know. Either way, I don't care, because I'm going to go and buy an aftermarket air filter tomorrow. I'm going to go down to Active Scale tomorrow, and get an aftermarket air filter, like what I got on the Savage. One of those ones. Hopefully they're still doing. I'll get one of them tomorrow, um, and then I'll go down to a car park and do the break-in process. Um, I haven't read the manual. I'm guilty. I haven't read the manual. I'm just going to do what I always do, and... Um, I dare say there'll be people out there say they've changed it or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> I always run it on tick over um, with a bit of pressure. I've still got the, uh, the servos on, by the way. Turn them off. The receiver, I mean. Transmitter. Radio gear. Um, I always do one tank um, just on tick over. Have it on the ground. Um, I do remember on the on the on the VHS video. Yes, VHS. <laughs> video you got for the Savage 
um, back in 2004 or whatever, they would tell you to put it up so the wheels can spin freely. Um, but I'd rather, I always put them on the ground so there's a bit of a bit of resistance leaning up against something. A bit of resistance because um, you want to break your engine, any engine you want to break in with a bit of pressure on it. A bit of resistance because if it's not under load then it won't have a lot, it won't have as much power as it could have. So I'm going to break it in with um, uh, one tank like that and then I'm just going to go start going around circles for three tanks and that'll be job done. Always putting a load on it though, got to put as much load on it as possible. But everyone does things different and I dare say you can put in your comments how you break your nitro engine gene because everyone does things differently. Um, you know, The worst thing you can do is go straight down the road full throttle. Um, other than that you can't really go too badly wrong. So. I've been hearing there's a lot of trouble, that HPI have been in a lot of trouble. I've heard different stories, the latest one I heard was that, um, I don't know what the truth is, I haven't done a lot of research, I've just heard, read on forums and heard from people um, in various places that I know that HPI were bought out by some other company and that other company um, went bankrupt I think, is what I've been heard, well, I've, I was last told that that company went bankrupt and um, HPI they're kind of struggling to keep things going and they're a bit behind on all the parts and everything like that now that's what i thought anyway um then i heard the last the last story i was told um was that i can't remember what company it was but some company bought hpi because the english side of it i don't understand because on all of this stuff here, what I've just showed you, it's got on it, made in England, Derby. Was it Derby or Derbyshire? Derby or Derbyshire? I can't remember if it was Derby. What did it say? Uh, yeah. Derbyshire. DE11. HPI Racing LTT, Derbyshire. So, something's happening in England anyway, but I don't know. Um, and then I heard that some company bought HPI out, the China one, in the China factory in China. And they went there expecting to have bought the whole factory full of moulds and everything. And then there's nothing there. So they've had to rebuild all the moulds and manufacturing things and everything, which is why they're behind in parts. And as a result, the quality of the cars has gone downhill. Well, I haven't, you know, to tell you the truth, I was willing to take the risk. Because HPI has always been the best and always been bloody good quality. That savage down there has taken a bloody good beating, I'll tell you that now. Now, this seems to be fantastic quality. Everything's metal. There is obviously some plastic. Um, but most things are metal. Um, and what is plastic is always, as it always was, bloody strong plastic. Um, you know, I, I can't find, apart from that stupid air filter, but I've uh, forgiven for that, because I'm going to get a new one anyway. Now, we would have done. Used to get little ones with, with them, little ones that just pop on there. Now you get ones that look like that. It's ridiculous. I don't know what they're thinking about doing that, but never mind. You know, no one can have anything perfect, can they? So, yeah, whatever, whatever has happened to HPI, as long as they don't go out of business, I'll be happy, because HPI's always been the best brand. Anyway... Just kind of like a little sneak peek of what to ex what you'll be seeing, and with any luck, if my brother-in-law gets one, we'll be going out to skate parks and things, and we'll have some proper RC videos um, coming up on this channel. And there's also an Instagram now. I've made a dedicated Instagram for this channel, um, so I'll put it up on the screen and in the link in the description to the video. But it's um, what did I call it? Oh, English RC because everything else was taken. Um, so I called it English RC, all right? So go and look that up. I think I've got two pictures on there so far as of making this video. I dare say there'll be more coming up soon. Um, follow, so follow the Instagram and you get a load of before because obviously I take pictures I'm doing things. So you see things before the videos come out because by the time I've filmed and edited a video, it's like a day or two day or three days gone past. So Instagram's almost live, isn't it? So I take pictures and put them up on Instagram as I'm actually doing the filming sort of thing. So you'll see things before anything happens. So yeah, little sneak peek, thought I'd show you that. I'll be doing a bit of filming tomorrow as I'm doing the running in process. Going around a car park, nothing nothing exciting. Just going around a car park, breaking it in, you know. Um, but sweet. Thanks for watching you lot. Take care and have fun. That's the key. <laughs>